Hello, Capricorn. It's Veronica here to do a check-in reading for you. I hope you guys are well. So let's take a look and see what's happening in your universe. What is going on with Cappy energy? Okay, wow. The full reversed, the death card, and the page of cups reversed. Okay, so major transformation and change. Change is knocking on your door, and yet you're afraid to take a leap of faith for fear of rejection. That's kind of what it looks like. Um, this is also like around the world. So there's some sort of like coming back full circle energy. You're so close to a new beginning. Aries season is going to be significant. So March and April of next year, right now, we just got through Scorpio season. So you've probably already been through a massive change. Pisces is coming out as well. So technically we have February, March, and April coming through in the next steps. Okay. Page of Cups reverse can be not utilizing your intuition, not connecting with friends or family, um, not connecting with children, not taking a leap of faith to do what you really want to do, not really loving yourself. And so there's a part of you that's probably died and uh, needs to start over. Or unfortunately, someone could have passed away in your life a while ago. It could also be the death of a relationship. And here you are needing to be more independent and having a hard time. Someone um, may have lost custody of their child, especially if we're dealing with Scorpio, Aries, and Pisces, okay? All right. Ah. Uh, you know what? No matter which deck I pull, no matter who I read, and I've read Cancer, Leo, and now Cappy today, you're all getting the moon. Crosswatch each other if this makes sense. The moon is about romance, concealing your thoughts and feelings or intentions. It can be deceptive, heavy on the Scorpio in this deck. We have now double Scorpio. This is the second time I've pulled this. I believe Leo had that, but... So your foundation is needing to shine the light on some truth. But if you notice, all the lights are going in different directions. Some of you guys may feel silly for making a choice based on someone else's lies. So, for example, someone lied to you about something. You made a decision. Now you regret it. And maybe you lost a friend because of it. A potential lover could be the opposite where they lost you. Okay. Let's see what's covering you. You didn't mean to. You didn't know. Oh, my God. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Check that Leo reading, damn it. <laughs> you Cancers and Leos need to cross-watch each other because I'm pulling different decks. All the cards are cleared, shuffled, and I'm still getting similar cards. This is crazy. The queen of wands in reverse can be a feminine energy who is not comfortable in their own skin. Okay. This person could be vengeful, jealous, and has issues, or they're a liar. 100% full of shit. This is also someone that could be potentially someone that just lacks self-esteem. Could that be you? Yes. Could that be an Aries? Yes. A Scorpio, a Pisces. Heavy on the Scorpio feminine energy. Absolutely. This is someone that doesn't take care of their physical body as well. In the upright is the polar opposite. Take a look at this card. Wow. So it can also be if you're female dealing with any of the signs I called, including Leo and Cancer, though they don't show up, they, they technically do. They don't really show up strong. This is someone that may be emotionally and physically unavailable. They're going through a big life altering change. If you're waiting on someone in love, like you don't know everything, especially if there's a child involved or a loss of a child or like a parent is in no contact with the child. There's something like that. Um, this can also be a miscarriage of a child. Um, I hope that's not true. And it could be something that they just didn't ever share, that they've been through this. Now, um, this could be your own mother as well, so know that. I am really seeing a feminine energy that's not really where they need to be in life. Or you just don't know, like I said, you just don't know everything about them, especially Capricorn. If you're looking into them, there's holes in the story. 
Um, Scorpio could have put you up to something. Now you regret it. There's so many different options here. So if any of this resonates for you, you all really know this is a check-in to see what's happening. And the reason why I do check-ins is to confirm intuition, sorry, confirm intuition um, and kind of add clarity to help you on your pathway. Like if you are in fact on the right path, the reading will connect with you. So even if it doesn't sound so great, it just kind of means that the universe is by your side, moving with you. Um, your next step is almost holding back until you know everything, until this gets reversed, until this turns upright. Be careful who you're dealing with. Someone could be a pathological liar. Your gut is probably already screaming at you with the moon. The full reversed is holding way back or being really terrified of an outcome. So I think that maybe you've been through enough changes recently to know that someone most likely a feminine energy has been lying to you this entire time. So the signs again, heavy on the Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, Leo. That's what I'm pulling today. Let me see an outcome. So this is pretty straightforward, Cappy, okay? Um, career stuff, same kind of messages if you're dealing with colleagues seeing a, a bunch of crap to you. They don't really know. Like this is saying a bunch of shit and not knowing what the hell they're talking about. So don't let someone put fear into your head, especially if you're a female cappy dealing with another female fire sign or a water sign heavy on the Pisces and um, Scorpio. So if you got those people just messing around, gossiping and stuff, you got to ignore it. Okay. All right. Outcome. Wow, what an outcome. More Aries. Your outcome for this path is most likely an Aries season, which is going to be in uh, March or April 2025. Heavy on the Aries, I'm getting it twice, three times if you include the Queen of Wands reverse, which can also be male because I pulled the Emperor who is male. Um, this is a really strong energy about getting your shit together. It can also be a Taurus energy in April, just so you know. But if you're not dealing with an older guy, you could just be dealing with getting your act together. Again, I said this about other signs you could be dealing with. They're doing the same thing. So right now it doesn't look like they know what the hell they're doing. Or right now it doesn't look like they can help you get where you need to go. Or right now it doesn't look like you can. But this is solid. It's a solid outcome for me. It's secure. It's stable. It makes decisions that um, benefits everybody, including themselves. And this is definitely a trustworthy masculine energy, especially after a, a huge change. Someone could have just like had a dark night of the soul and some sort of ego death. And by the way, we all go through that. It's just right now, Capricorn energies are pulling it especially if they're men. If you're a Capricorn man, boy, woo wee, this looks really stunning. If you're a Capricorn woman dealing with an older male, I think you're starting to see them for who and what they really are. Um, maybe you're going to see them more as an asset. Or if you had some jealousy issues concerning this older man, you're going to be kind of thrusted into that dark night of the soul. And to kind of look at those trigger points, whether you're going to therapy or you do this on your own spiritually, it doesn't really matter, okay? So not a bad reading for Cappies. I think it's a lot of personal spiritual growth stuff, seeing things and being able to make big life-altering changes. And some of you guys have just been through that in Scorpio season, okay? Scorpio season is really tough. Um, for everybody, it's just one of those things where you're always challenged to see yourself in the mirror as you are versus how you want to be or in the negative sense. Like we have to see the truth. Scorpio likes to be the truth. Whoa. Okay. Leo flew out. Sagittarius, Virgo, interesting. And Aries on the back end. So hmm, interesting. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Virgo. Saggy season is going to be action-oriented. You are going to be forced into your birthday season having to get up and go. Don't lollygag. Once your completion hits you, 
<clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. Once your completion hits you and you've evolved and you know that things are different now when the opportunities start coming to you, do not sit on your ass, okay? That is the message, specifically because fire signs are all present here for you. If we're looking at timelines, okay, Saggy season's now, and then Aries season will be in that March, April, Leo season, July, August, Virgo season, August, September of next year, okay? All right, Cappy, thank you so much for being here. If you want to watch this full reading, please check out my YouTube channel, The Mystic Wonder, and I will see you guys very soon. Take care.